All right, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go over my top three ways to catch late summer, early fall crappie. I'm on a small crappie pond here in New Hampshire and we're gonna do trolling uh, with some underwater footage that's really cool. We're gonna do uh, vertical jigging for them and then we're gonna use a slip bobber for those really finicky ones that want a, basically a dead drift presentation. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned and make sure you guys subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and I'll try to leave all the links for all the gear I use below. I always forget. Make sure you guys comment below. Let me know if you like these types of videos. Let me know what else you guys want me to film. And we'll go from there. I'm on a pile of crappie right now. And we're going to catch some right here. You guys, there's so many crappies down there. This one. I don't think it's broken away from the camera yet. It hasn't. But first slab on the camera this morning. <laughs> Guys, that's what we're going for right there. Nice slab, not super big. That was absolutely crazy to see that bite. Jackpot. This one. I don't know if that's a crappy or not. It's crappy. Yeah, buddy. Holy smokes. That's a bigger one. Holy crap, that's a slap. Holy moly. Now that is what I was looking for right there, boys. Yeah. One hour in. Nice big fish. And I'm only setting the hooks on the big ones. Got one. Another big slab. Another nice fish. So here's the other method of uh, vertical jigging for them, which is probably mine, probably now my second favorite. Um, now that I control with the underwater camera, which is just crazy seeing that many crappie. Right there. Massive. Massive crappie. Holy moly, that is a massive fish. Look at the size of this crappie, guys. That's why it took so long. That is a big fish right there. I 
and see if I can get another one right underneath me here. Another big one. Slabs for days. Thing is, if there's fish there, they just can't resist it. This is a bigger one. Like I said, if there's fish down there, they just can't resist. Look at this thing, it's got like a bent tail. See that? Literally just letting this sink. I got a 15 pound braid on here, no leader. Oh, they stacked up right underneath me. Yeah. Found him. Found him, found him, found him, found him, found him, found him. They are. Right. Here. Guaranteed fish. Just, the screen is absolutely lit up. I get fish under the boat. Suspended as well. Right there. Another monster. Saw that one hit, got him. Oh, they're just absolutely stacked right now. Oh, got him. Yep, there they are. Another 12 or so for some crappie we're jigging for some crappie so two different ways let's show you guys a third way which um, is super effective and it uses a slip bobber technique so this is a fill slip bobber comes with a little bobber stop and then a little bead and we're gonna put it on the rod I have on now so number one would be trolling. And trolling is not very exciting, but what is exciting is finding those crappy because you're trolling. Save a lot of time, save a lot of picking, a, picking spots apart. You can just troll, find the fish, mark it, kind of memorize the structure that you're on. Or if you're not on structure like I am not, I'm just kind of in a deep spot off the edge here. On a muddy bottom. And find them, then you can vertically vertical jig for them, like I showed you with the same jig. Basically just a little tungsten jig, probably, I don't know, five millimeters or something like that. They don't really care about the presentation here. And then, if they're really being picky, and we want more of a still presentation, you can um, do the slip bobber technique, which also works great. And I've been catching most of mine in like 16 feet of water. So I'm gonna go, that is five and something. And then I'm gonna go another five, six, and then a little bit more. And then we're just gonna tighten down our bobber stop and that'll stop our barber from moving and then we can plop that in the water plop that in the water 
which is good. And like I said, one of the main advantages of this is one, the ability to drift in the wind, keep your lure in the target zone. And two, if it's like slightly windy like this where it's just annoying enough, you can send that out there and uh, cast it out where you think you know the fish are, where you just scanned over them, cast it behind you, put on the brakes, so you'll be in the right spot every time. And if we were fishing in like, I don't know, five feet of water, I wouldn't, wouldn't use a slip bobber, I'd just use a standard normal bobber. Um, but I'm fishing in 15, 16 feet of water, you can't really do that. You'd be like lobbing it out there. There we go, finally got one. Oh, it looks to be pretty big too. Another chunker. Another chunker, 12-ish. And like I said, I'm using a double bobber rig, double slip bobber rig, because I don't have a bobber big enough to float this little tungsten I got here. And this is a super great great way to teach people how to catch crappie. Um, you can stay off of your area, your presentation. It catches mondos, like this for example. And it's a really good way to, to drift and float in a kayak or a canoe, um, or even a boat. You can stay anchored. Um, oh, just missed that one by a mile. I have fish. And then, you know, your bobber will, will drift a lot less than your canoe or kayak does. So I'm moving, but my bobber is not, which is kind of nice. And there should be another one right in that area. Got them that time. And these bigger ones seem to like this. this dead minnow type of approach here. Yeah. There you are, buddy. Uh, I know I'm not closing the mouth, but I'm trying to get one that's like in the, over the 13. I've got a bunch of 13s already today. Just, just under 13 on that one. All right, we're getting off the water. Hope you guys enjoyed the three tips, trolling, vertical jigging, and slip bobber or three techniques. This place I'm gonna be coming definitely back to, maybe with the fly rod and trying that out um, in the canoe or like a float tube or something like that because this place is loaded. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit the little bell notification to get next week's video. And ice fishing season is just around the corner.